How's it going YouTube? Hatcher sits here back with another video. So we have mail day. Okay, so I'm gonna have to open this up. Um, probably a little bit off camera, but I did a lot of breaks with um, US soccer breaks. Check them out, Austin, great guy uh, for Chronicles. I sadly did not order any of it to open up on the channel. As I honestly didn't think it would be that great of a product, but oh, was I wrong. Um, and I kind of missed out on some of the pre-orders at the cheaper prices, and I just kind of felt that, wow, this is probably gonna, I have to kind of set this over here for a second. Um, yeah, because there's eggshells and all this, okay. Um, yeah, so I didn't pre-order this in time because I was really wanting to focus on Chrome, as everybody on this channel knows Chrome is my favorite product. Um, I went ahead and did a lot of breaks of Panini Chronicles and I just kind of want to go over some of the hits and kind of the ups and downs of breaking in this but another reason why I've kind of changed a lot of this channel to um, more breaking and how kind of my how, how my card collecting is really more breaking now as opposed to buying product as much as it sucks to not be able to open your own product um you know i try to do that a lot on this channel as well but uh, you know i just sadly in the way soccer blew up now that you basically are in a situation where you either spend four thousand dollars on a case when you're really trying to get a couple cards or you buy in to breaks and try to get those cards, you know, um, and save yourself a lot of money. You know, you do have, okay, it's not you opening up the cards, I get that, but in the long run, I think you just save a lot of money doing breaks and I know a lot of people hate, break, hate breakers. Um, they disagree with the whole kind of situation and I don't know what all this is. Did I really do this many? Wow. Okay. Um, I don't know what. I don't know why that immaculate collection is in there, and I probably shouldn't have. Wow. This is a lot of stuff. I didn't realize I did this much. Holy crud! All right. Well, don't know why he put these immaculate in here, but there's nothing in them. Maybe that's just for packing material I really don't know so let's try to kind of go and order from breaks uh, there's one there's one I'm gonna try to go and order you can kind of see how I break 10 wow I really did a lot of breaks okay yeah so this was a lot um, but we're going to get into this. Uh, we'll start off with some. I started off doing Real Madrid. I mean, as everybody knows, I'm a Real Madrid fan. But then uh, things kind of switched to where I also wanted to do some Barcelona. Um, and these breaks have just gone insanely high now. And I'll talk about that as well. So we have a Rafael Varon, um, Tools of the Trade autograph. Rodrigo, rookie ticket. I think that's going to be a really good card down the road. Um, I think he's an absolute stud. He has been starting on the right wing for Real Madrid. He started yesterday when they won the La Liga championship. Shameless uh, plug there. Uh, we got a historic ticket. Man, I really that was really a sucky day when he went to uh, Arsenal. I talk about that every time I see an Ozil card. I know, but got the green parallel of uh, Gareth Bale. I have to put a... Um, uh, on that uh, sleeve on that uh, looks like we got Eden Hazard didn't have a really great season Malachio or I can't I don't even know how to say his name really it's sad because I follow that team and he's a defender so I really don't see a whole lot of value in him but I still want to collect him for our PC Gareth Bale favorite of the game I think I hit several of these and then another one was uh, Courtois who for me this season Real Madrid won La Liga because of him he's absolutely just phenomenal goalkeeper i th i think best goalkeeper in the world personally i mean i might be a little biased but you know so let's go ahead and get into some barcelona stuff i know we have so i started doing barcelona because i was like well you got the fatih rookies um unfortunately you got frankie de jong rookies which are nice you know he's a solid player uh ivan rakitic but this is the reason why we did um Barcelona 
And Sue Fati, rookie ticket, sick card. That will be going to PSA. I might even send some of the Frankie de Jones. We have these Pitch Kings from Messi, which are sick. I need to send someone to a buyer, actually. Um, so those were pretty awesome. Then I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to go through all this. You know how I tried to do my videos and like, so tools of the throwback threads, Ronaldo still upsets me every time I see that. Um, that's kind of cool. So we're gonna throw that over there. I think I think I had a few more auto hits I want to go through, but the the main stuff is over here that I want to show. Kind of some of the hits. Got incredibly lucky. Um, we did have a Luka Modric numbered to forty nine. A couple of worky uh, historic ticket Ozil. There's another Ronaldo. So that was pretty cool. This was a six six hit here. Super happy to have this in my collection. Um, as far as autographs go in this, is probably the one I would have decided to take. It's uh, Luka Modric, 57 of 65. It's the Crown Royal um, brand with like the fabric and everything. There's another one that has a, like just a sticker auto with no jersey. I want to say it's player worn. Yeah, it's player worn, but still, I don't really care. A lot of people get upset, player worn, match worn, whatever, dude. Still, the player still wore it, you know. Um, I don't know what this is. Actually, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself with this stuff. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a big one. That's a huge one. So we're gonna save that one. That's that. That's the biggest hit of all of this. So then we did Barcelona and another one. And again, I was just kind of decided with this after I got a lot of the Real Madrid stuff I wanted. And let's just go ahead and uh, see what other Real Madrid stuff we got. I switched to some of the other stuff to do some rookie collecting. So we had the Gareth Bale, nothing really there. Um, here's another Real. I know I hit some more autos. Yeah, here we go. So break number four. I think he's on like break 30 now. I actually have, I'm in break 30. So Luis Figo, autograph, sick card. Uh, another rookie and Gareth Bale numbered. I'd like to have that, that's cool. That's a sick card right there, I love that. Um, but let's go ahead and you know how I like to set up the big hits in the back. Get their special things if they can fit. I want to keep that over there. Uh, Barcelona, any big hits here? I do like this two color patch for Iniesta. I hit two of these. The other one has yellow and blue. Hit two, uh, I think it was, wow, another Pitch King Messi. So, wow, this was all Frankie de Jong, Neymar. I wish it would have been some more fatty, but there's a Puyol, um, Puyol uh, autograph. Jeez, words are tough today. Uh, we had, okay. So we switched over and we did some Mallorca. Um, I wanted to go Kubo hunting. And we did hit a couple of him. Two rookies there. No parallel or anything, so that was pretty cool. Think I am going to sell a couple of those on eBay, but I wanted to get a few for their PC just because he is. He plays for Mallorca right now, but Mallorca, if I'm saying that right, but two more from another break. Sadly, I didn't hit any of the Pitch Kings ones, which I really wanted to hit. Um, but uh, he's out on loan to them from Real Madrid. So let's see. We got another Barcelona here. Wow, I did a lot of Barcelona, more than I thought I did. We got Luis Suarez. I might give this to my nephew. He loves more Luis Suarez. I'm not really much of a fan. He's biting his finger there. Um, De Jong. Uh, I guess this is the Pitch Kings and Arturo Vidal. Nice threads. And then let's put this over here. Then another Real Madrid. Wow. Okay. Taking a lot longer than I thought it would be. I, I didn't realize I did so much. I mean, I knew I did a lot of breaks. Ronaldo got a Casemiro, sick uh, purple to 105. Rodrigo, the um, Pitch Kings, I believe it is. Rodrigo, rookie. That was nice. Green. Two greens. Wow. The rookie ticket. Yeah, I'm big on that kid. I think he's going to be a superstar. He's got he's got really good dribbling skills. Um but he's just, uh, but uh, um, everybody's big on Vinicius Jr. because he's so fast. 
But Arrigo has the dribbling skills. Vinicius Jr. has the speed. But unfortunately for Vinicius Jr., he's just not finishing right right now. Got two Puyol. Probably put one of those on uh, eBay um, since I don't really PC him. Got a Neymar, throwback threads. That was cool. And Messi, historic ticket. I wanted one of those. It would have been, been nice to... I, I wanted one of him and one of Ronaldo. And you'll see that... Uh, I was able to get both of those. So then I switched over to Man United for quite a few breaks. Sorry. We have one more Mallorca here. So I ended up getting quite a few Kubo, actually. Okay. Got another Kubo. I didn't hit any of the Pitch Kings. That's crazy. That's absolutely nuts. So let's go over some of the Manchester United stuff, and we'll save that to the very end because that's the big one. Now, what we were looking for in Man United is Daniel James, and we were going for um, that guy right there, Mason Greenwood. Yeah, that's sick. This came out of the gate like a $200 card. Daniel James, rookie. That's pretty sick right there. Um, nobody cares about this guy, I guess, unfortunately for him. It was all about Mason Greenwood and Daniel James to some lesser degree. I didn't do so good in this break, but I did hit this one. Sick Cristiano Ronaldo, historic ticket. Um, would much rather have seen it in a Real Madrid uniform, but you know, I guess they just they I guess these were considered like historic rookie tickets, which doesn't make sense because he played for sporting first, but you know, whatever. He's known for man U, so I'll let it slide. Uh this one was a big hit. Wow, okay. And I actually have more breaks coming from Cyrus from Soccer Breakers. I went I went a little crazy on this product, to be honest. But after I found out how much some of this stuff was worth, it's just got a Daniel James, got another Mason, another Mason, Mason Greenwood. That will be going to a PSA. Um, looks kind of good, actually, the centering. Uh, Mason, PSA, PSA. I'll be PSA and all these. Probably list Marcus Rashford, not really big on him. This was kind of cool. I could only imagine how much this would be worth if it was Mason Greenwood, uh, if they had autographs. It would be absolutely nuts. People would be going crazy right here. Then we have Javier Hernandez, um, historic ticket as well. Uh, wow, I hit a lot of Greenwood. I did pretty good, um, as you'll see on the last card I'm going to show you. Uh, another Mason, another Mason. Wow. Daniel James, rookie card. Man U in this was just absolutely loaded. Marcus Rashford to uh, 75. That's pretty nice. I don't PC him, so that might go on... Uh, eBay as well. Check out my store. Then we have the last Man U one besides the big one. Oh, we'll show that in a second. So we got Rashford, Paul Pogba, Hernandez, Daniel James rookie, another Mason Greenwood, another Ronaldo historic ticket, another historic ticket, and Daniel James rookie card. And then this is the big one right here. And I'm not quite sure what to do with this one. I kind of want to sell it. Um, I'm not a. I like Man U for EPL. I would, you know, as far as the, everybody knows, I'm a Real Madrid fan. But I like Man United. Um, I, you know, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of them. But if I had to root for somebody in EPL, it would be them. I'm more root for players. So, but yeah, this is uh, pretty sick. Yeah, look at that thing. 14 of 50. Mason Greenwood, green. Press proof. On release, these sold. These were there were two sell, two listings of this sold for five thousand dollars on eBay. Um, um, the guy's pretty good. I don't know if he was worth that, but Man United fans are pretty crazy when it comes to spending money. Um, so I'm thinking about putting this out on eBay. If it is, you'll find it in my store. I probably will. Um, I'll have to check latest comps. I don't think it would sell for $5,000, um, maybe like $3,500 or something like that. Uh, but then you get into the thing of somebody wanting it international, which is probably going to happen with like the laws right now and everything. Um, you can't send, eBay won't global ship something over $2,500. So then shipping becomes like really expensive. It's a big old mess. I mean, absolute just disaster mess. So anyway... That was a super, super awesome hit. Um, quite a bit of money. I probably spent probably about probably about what you would spend for about, I don't know, 
three quarters of a case of cards and you know the cards we got you know it's like 200 50 50 200 dollar card 200 dollar card 20 dollar card um you know uh 200 dollar card 200 dollar card 250 dollar card 300 hundred dollar card 300 hundred dollar card i mean when you go through stuff like this you know maybe a 50 dollar card i don't know what kubo is selling for now i want to say like 50 bucks but when you go through stuff like this and say when i look at what i spent joining all these breaks which wouldn't even been a full case there's no way you're getting all of this value out of one case of cards and it really kind of in this environment kind of speaks to unfortunately the best thing to do is do breaks unless you're going to get in on a pre-order of a product really soon like i was lucky enough to get the chrome ufa hopefully the checklist is sick for like 650 dollars a case for like two cases um those same cases are selling for $3,200 now. The market is just absolutely crazy. I don't know. But that's just the way it is. But, uh, you know, just got to roll with it. See what happens. You know, try to get in on things early is the best thing I can tell you. I know it sucks for a lot of people. You miss opening up product. But this is kind of the way the sports hobby is now. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Please check out my store. Um, like, subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel. And I hope you have a good day.